Okay, so it's five o'clock, June fourteenth, two thousand twelve. It's about one hundred and ten degrees. I want you to take a look at this plant right here. I just stuck a seed in the ground, and I thought it was a watermelon. Came out, and it's got the same kind of a leaf pattern as a watermelon. Crimson sweet, at least what I grew before. And uh, before I tell you what I think it is, I want you to notice, look at this heavy, heavy leaf droop. And that is definitely due to this heat and the sun. And uh, I'm gonna get some video of it here um, just before sunset and show you how they bounce back and look just amazing. But you would look at this thing and just think, oh man, it's dead. But it does it day in and day out, and comes back when the sun goes down and, the, and it drops into the, the low 90s at night. Yeah, real cool off, right? But I've got some, let's see if I can get in here. I have some flowers that I have noticed uh, in the last week or so. And then it looks like got a fruit right there. Would you call it a fruit? Let me tell you what I think this is. After uh, looking at the leaves a little bit and noticing um, that really spiky and the stems too. I mean, they've got uh, they've got some really gnarly spikes on here. And then uh, and then it dawned on me. I tried to plant some loofah sponge seeds a while back, and we had a real bad wind dried out all my new plantings and anything that had been sprouted up a little bit and I just kind of gave up and uh, figured I'd follow on YouTube as some other people grew loofah sponge but uh, yeah and if you if you're hearing me and you're like did he say loofah sponge the stuff in that you know you use in the shower in the bath yeah that's it it uh, it grows huge it grows like a squash plant from everything I've read I uh, can get like, you know, 20 feet long vines and uh, this is kind of cool. The first time I saw this right here on this videotape, I think I'm growing a loofah sponge right here. So I am impressed. I've been wanting to grow something kind of unique for a long time. And uh, this is uh, pretty darn unique, I'd say. But yeah, if you haven't heard of it, like I didn't uh, know where those things came from. But uh, yeah, they grow out, look like a cucumber or zucchini or something, and uh, you just let them dry out. And the skeleton of this plant, or this fruit, um, becomes your loofah sponge. And there's a few, I think there's three different varieties, I mean, I'm sure there's a lot more, but uh, there's three that are real common to get seeds from, four. And um, I forget this one, but this one is supposed to get the fruit, um, I don't know, I think about two feet, about 12 inches to 24 inches. So it should be some really cool, uh, I don't know, fruit, I guess. We'll see, we'll see, but I'm excited. First time I noticed that is right here filming for you guys. So I gotta get out of this heat. Five o'clock, 110 plus. Come back out at uh, like 7.30 and I'll show you. How that droop will all be gone. All right, so we're back at 7:15 at night. The sun is almost down, and would you look at that? The plant has perked back up again. You wouldn't even know it. You wouldn't even know it was so stressed by looking at these leaves. I'll try to zoom in a little bit, but uh, they got some some blotching on them. Uh, if you've grown loofah before, let me know if this is normal um, or if it's deficient in something. Uh, I don't know if you could tell, but I just um, took away some of this three-quarter inch rock and just look right here. I just kind of dug it away into uh, the dirt so it's not amended soil or anything like that. So it very well could be needing something. But um, probably do a compost tea or something for it here really soon. It gets some compost tea from 
this uh, citrus tree here. I've broken the bottom of the pot out so it could root out into the ground. So it's getting some nutrients that way too, I'm sure. But yeah, look at it. It's, it's perfect. It looks great. You would never know. Let's take a look at the uh, that fruit in there too. I guess it's a fruit. I don't know. That's what I'm calling it. There we go. Pretty cool. I'm excited. I hope I get some loofah sponges out of this plant. And it looks like spider mite up right here by my finger. Try to zoom in. Oh, he flipped over. There he goes. So maybe I'll hit it with some neem oil. Let's see what happens. There you go, your plants in this high heat desert sun, they will wilt and the, uh, and the leaves will curl and that's just to conserve moisture. And then when it's, uh, when it's able to and it cools down a little bit, it pops back to normal.